Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the doors, and uh, but first I wanted to tell you I did have a design change, slight design change on the top that uh, I didn't mention. This right here has been added because uh, between that and that, it's just it's six feet of expanse with no uh, cross member, and I decided to put one there. What I'm gonna show you now is uh, we're gonna make this door together. And I'm going to show you the whole process. Let me get you tightened up here. Okay. So I'm going to measure the width and the height. The width is 24, and I want a gap on either side of the door so it'll open and close easier. I'm going to hinge it over here and it's going to open from this side. So uh, I'm going to make the width about 23 and 5 eighths. That'll give me about 3 sixteenths of a gap on either side. The height is 33. Plus I have to deduct the width of the top, the top and the bottom rail. So uh, that would be 30 and I want to leave a gap there also. So uh, I think I'll go about 29 and a half. Uh, let's go to the shop. We'll cut. No, I'm in the shop. I'm in the other shop, which is this way, next door, where I have my saw, and uh, I'll show you how to cut them. Okay, I got everything marked. I'm going to make make my cuts, and I'm cutting these out here just because it gets sawdust everywhere. It's hard to clean my other shop. I can just take air hose and blow this one out. Okay, now we go back to the other shop, and uh, I'm going to drill my holes, and the uh, these are the side rails, and I'll be drilling my holes on the top and bottom of them, screwing them together, and putting my uh, corner braces in. All right, I got everything marked and cut, and uh, now I'm going to drill my holes. Here's my corner pieces here. I already got them cut, drilled with screws in them. Now I'm going to drill these two upright pieces and uh, let me zoom you in a little bit.
Okay, now I'm going to screw them together. I'm going to get these started in here just because it's so much easier to, to do without with just one hand. Hurt your fingers after a while. Okay, let me zoom you out just a little bit. I know 
though you can't see, but I need to put that kind of torque on that in order to get it in because uh, my driver bit is so wore out that it strips the heads out. One more. how to build something like that. Where's my cut off? Here we go. Alrighty, I'm going to build the other door. Okay, I always show my mistakes and I'm fixing to show you. I made the door here and uh, I was off by this much <laughs> and I know what I did. I had already deducted the uh, three inches off of this and uh, when I got out there to where I cut it there was a pause between me measuring and me going to cut it was a coffee pause and I ended up at taking another three inches off of it not realizing it. I'd already taken that off the measurement so I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a three inch wide piece of plywood from here to here and same thing on the bottom to fill that gap because I do not want to make this all over again and I'm just about I mean you see the difference between this and this this is treated I had to go buy some more wood because the other wood was so crappy that uh, I just couldn't use most of it or not most of it but a good portion of it anyway so there's my mistake on this project oh and another minor design change I added a, a centerpiece from this corner to this edge to that edge and the reason is when I put my chicken wire on here and uh, pull it tight it might bow these in so I just put that there to keep that from prevent that from happening so there's my mistake on this project every project I make some kind of faux pas that's French for screw up and uh, that's it but I already have a Brad fix see when you make these kind of mistakes <laughs> you have uh, repairs in the back of your mind from years and years of making these kind of mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna have another cup of coffee and contemplate this. Good morning girls. Got a little something for you. I know it's a little early. I don't usually give you your scratch this early, but I'm here, you're here. Let's just get it done. What? Giving the girls some scratch. Coffee still out? I'm gonna have a cup. You gonna sit? Okay, bon appetit. Manja. Okay, I got the chicken wire on. I got one hinge on. Uh, I'm just using hinges I had laying around. These aren't really the best hinges for this, but. I've already spent too much money so here's what you need to put hinges on you gotta drill a pilot hole or that's an awl a pointy awl and uh, I'm gonna make a pilot hole with awl so here's what you do just, I'm just eyeballing this since this is just a chicken house chicken corrector I'm gonna take the eye the uh, scratch awl One second, I'm gonna put that behind the chicken wire. There we go. That's how you wanna do that. And then you make a, nope, I got you. I'm gonna put this one on up here too, so. Okay, you press the all in, you make yourself a pilot hole. Take your screw. You 
You can make a pilot hole with a little drill too, but I just find it when you have small pilot holes to do, it's just easier to do with a scratch all. Okay, I'm going to put this one on up here. I'm just going to eyeball it right about the center. screw. What it is is the head sometimes gets stuff stuck in it and the screw driver won't go down into it. There we go. Now I gotta put my two more screws here and my two more screws here but I was just showing you how to how to do this. Now I just eyeball this in the center. Let's just see how far off I am. From the center of that hinge to the center of this, it's 11 and a quarter. From the center of this to the center of that, it's 11 and three quarters. So I'm a half inch off on my eyeballs. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I, I, I got something else I gotta show you. Uh, you know what? I think I'll do it when I get this over onto the uh, front piece there. I've got that chicken wire on that too and I'll be mounting this and when I get over there I'll, I'll show you something concerning corner brackets that I didn't tell you about. Okay, that's that's on. And now uh, these corner brackets are to hold the door from falling in because if I didn't have these here when I close the door it would just go past the edge here. Uh, I made a little catch. Hold the door shut. All right, that was the hardest one. So uh, I got enough chicken wire to do the the back end, and that'll go pretty quick because I don't have a door to go around. And uh, I may have to buy some chicken wire for these two sides. I got enough six foot to do the uh, top. I don't think I have enough to do the two sides. So I may not have this done today, which is okay because it's supposed to rain, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, it's supposed to rain the next day, so chickens, I wouldn't want them in it anyway. All right, well, there's the hardest one. I'm fixing to start on the back side. I'm just going to show you how I staple a chicken wire on. I'm just going to show you how I do one edge. This chicken wire here was six foot wide, and I took my uh, cutoff wheel and I cut down... Uh, half of it and, it, and it's on, the, on that end it's a real rough edge. This is the finished edge down here so I'm going to staple this finished edge first and then on the other end I'll pull it that away and flop the chicken wire over the top, wrap it over the top uh, of this back end piece because the top of the chicken tractor is going to come down on, I uh, can't quite see it, let me back you a little bit. Okay, the top of the chicken tractor will come up here, so I'm going to fold this over the top, and uh, it'll have a nice, you know, finished looking edge up top there, and the wire will be hid from uh, people and chickens. <laughs> so, uh, let me show you how I staple this on. Oh, I'm using a PowerShot Pro, which is absolute crap. This is my third one. Uh, I've sent them back to the factory. The very first time I had one go bad, just like a dozen staples and it went bad. And uh, I called the factory and they said, send it to us, we'll repair it. And what they sent me back was some beat up old stapler where the, the handle was wore off of it. They sent me somebody else's old crap. So uh, I just locked myself out here. So I called them back and I said, what you sent me was somebody else's used junk. If you're not going to fix mine, don't send me somebody else's junk. Send me a new one or send me mine back. 
So they sent me another one, and it was used. Uh, this is all warranty crap, so these are made in China. And uh, what they do is the stuff that's sent back for warranty, they just keep switching it around. This is my third one here. Let's see how long this lasts. All right, I'm going to uh, do some stapling. Putting these staples about oh two and a quarter inches apart. They don't need to be any closer than that on this on this edge here because uh, it's a long it, it's like double wired down here on the bottom edge. Okay, now I go on the top side here, and that's where I pull all these wrinkles out. I'll just show you one real quick. I know I'm probably boring a lot of people, but I know there's some folks out there that have never seen anything like this done, and I decided I was going to take a little more time on this video and, and show the some of the more detailed stuff. Okay, you see how I'm folding this over up top here? I'm not going to staple it up on this end. I'm going to staple it on this end first, but I want to get it really tight. And uh, about every foot I go and pull it this away, staple it, and then I go in between each foot, pull it this away, staple it, and then in between that, and uh, I get it tighter and tighter as I do that down this way. And then I go to the ends and I do the same thing. I pull it as tight as I can get it that way, staple it, pull it as tight as I can get it to go that way and staple it. And then I come and cut all the extra off. So, uh, that's it. I'll uh, show you this when I get her done. Here's how I trim the excess off. It's a real time saver. Okay, this is the, the last uh, show of me putting the chicken wire on, because you've got the idea. Uh, the bottom edge is stapled right to the face, because that was the, the factory smooth edge. This end, I stapled it to the face, well done it, and uh, pulled it around the back, because the back of this is going to butt up against the sides this won't be seen the top I just fold it up over I'm gonna get that in a minute <laughs> it's Beverly I'm gonna call her back uh, the, the top is gonna set on top of this so this won't be seen and no one will get poked all right there's the front there's the back uh, I have enough of this scrap here to do that door and then uh, I'll see what I got left after that I May be able to finish this today, I don't know. 
All right. Everything takes longer than you think it's going to take. All I got left now is the top. And I'm almost certain I'll have enough chicken wire. I'm going to make a couple of uh, additions to this. I'm going to add some wheels. Uh, Jason, his channel is 1952 Jeep. He has a chicken tractor with these wheels on it that when you want to move the chicken tractor, you pull this lever down and the wheels lift the chicken tractor up slightly, uh, enough to move the chicken tractor around. And I got to go look at his video and I'm going to plagiarize. And then I got to make something where I can hang some water some feed and a couple of nesting boxes where I'll have access to it at the, the end there because the lift up door the horizontal door is going on that end and uh, that's it I'm gonna go ahead and upload this I really thought I could finish this today but I'm not gonna have time